Today we're going to talk about swapping out a water seal on a Haywood Super Pump. And what we're going to do is use a nice 16 wrench and we're going to loosen all the bolts. And what we have in front of us here is just a cutout to make it easy so that you can see how the motor is taken apart. So right now we're just using a 9 16 ratchet and we're going to take all the motor mounting bolts, there's four of them, off the pump. So we're now just pulling out the motor bolts that holds the motor into the housing. And what we're doing is, again, we're going to change the water seal. Because typically if the water seal is leaking, you're going to see water dripping out of the bottom of your motor. And we need to fix that, because otherwise the water is going to go into the motor. And you're going to begin to hear a loud, loud noise out of the motor because the bearing will cease or begin to fail. So what we're going to do is just split the motor. And when we do that, and we see it come out, we see this is called a diffuser. Okay, The diffuser has a diffuser O-ring. Then what we have is what we call the impeller and then the seal plate. And all we're going to do is remove the, you can use a screwdriver for this or you can use um, a nut driver. We're going to remove the uh, back plate on the motor. And again, this motor is just for demo purposes. So that's why you can see everything that you're seeing. And what we'll do is, we're just going to, um, what I do is just loosen the capacitor because it makes it easier to get the half inch wrench. to the shaft. And so by just dropping the capacitor, taking actually your 7 16 wrench, holding it onto the shaft, then holding the impeller and spinning the impeller off. So you're holding the back of the motor with the 7 16 wrench, remove the impeller, and you'll see the first half of the water seal and you'll also see what we call the seal plate. So what would have to happen is the water seal, we're changing two parts. We're changing the first part of the seal, which is a ceramic, and we're changing the part that's on the impeller. And what we would do is we call this an MS-201 seal. This would simply get popped out. You'd use a little grease to lubricate it, pop the new 201 ceramic seal in into the seal plate. You would remove the other end of the seal completely. This piece would come off. And then you would take the new part of the seal, put it back on, attach your seal plate. Taking the impeller, once again, holding the back of the motor. turning it and then you'll feel the impeller what we say bottom out and you just make it so that it's snug and you'll feel the final crank you'll make it snug and you've successfully replaced the water seal and you can just reattach your capacitor back into place Snug it back up. At that point, you would be prepared to take the diffuser. Once again, put the diffuser back in place. You'll notice that the diffuser says top. Top matches the top of the pump. You would then take it, slide it back in, mount in your four bolts, and the water seal has been successfully changed. In this motor would work, this concept of a water seal is true of any motor, whether it's a Spaylite or a Pentair, the water seal is changed in a very similar manner.